Huh, looks like there's actually no audio probably later in the game. If there is no audio, then I will be actually just adding a little bit. So let's continue, I guess. Start the new game again. A bit. See. Mm, let's just read. Brace. Brace. Where are you, brave knight? Okay, there is audio at least now. I'm right here, princess. I definitely leap in front of her. I shield crashing against the, the beastman's massive claws. Seizing the opening, Raiki drive his sword into the monster's side. He tells him pain, whirling furiously to face him. Buying Sarah time to finish casting her spell, incinerating the creature with a mighty flash of lightning. lightning. The battle over, we pose for a moment, quietly quiet catching our breath. What a fun, easy. And with that, only our final destination lies before us. I also gotta try to like quicken my voice because it's already midnight. So, so my voice might kind of suck in, so I'm really sorry about this. Demon Slayer Castle. After all this time, our long journey is almost at an end. At an end. Who knows what the AJC at lies lie before us? I'd best go scout ahead. Catch up with me on my signal. He watches back as he as he shrinks. <laughs> that makes as he shrinks smaller and smaller into the distance. After a while, Sarah's voice breaks. Breaks the long silence. Hey, Grace. What's up? I'm, I'm scared. Scared of what? We're going to beat the silly that silly demon to a pulp, no problem. Yeah, of course. With the three of us, we can dig on anything, but after that. When it's over, we're, s we're still going to be together, right? Of course we are, you know that. Forever and ever. Forever. We really said that, didn't we? How long ago was it? I wonder, did we truly understand the weight of those words? Why is it snapping? Did we truly understand the weight of those words? The sound of my alarm clock, uh, the sound of my alarm clock yanks me suddenly from my dream. I wriggle my arm from my blankets and stand on, slam down on the floor, I think. That's them, okay. It's L. Don't you not break her, huh? I haven't dreamed about that game in a long while. Haha. <laughs> I remember when I tried to stay up all night playing and it and Sarah's mom yelled at us. Alright, it's a, it's a school day. Not a very amazing. Up and at him. As I turn on my uniform, I glance at the weather on my evening. Graduation is looming. The forecast is looking good. I think today's gonna be the day. Don't you think so, Kelp? Do you think so too, Kelp? Kelp replies with his usual cheery green. Yeah, that's right. They won't be today you won't be like any other day. Kelp silently stands back. Yeah, I know. They keep saying that. But this time's for real. Promises. Anyway, egg time. Tossing Kelp into my bag, I head downstairs for arguing with the most important of the day. Good morning, riders. This week, this forecast is going to be sunny. This will be a great day. No, a great week for productivity. Come on, go get it. Let's jam to some tunes and get to it. Remember, when you want to do something, do it when you can. It's the only way to live life, live a life without regrets. I think for the 
that commentary one. I will just like use this other clip directly. You don't need to like paste it. All my Toma are out of and about already. I left behind my favorite pick press that makes up beef, eggs, and rice. I learned to eat my meals very quickly. They say that not pacing yourself while eating is bad for you. I like to think uh, that the faster I'm eating something, the more I like it. Take for example my breakfast, which they just reached it. Well, I'm off. Hey, that shot. I was in head straight towards the school. Oh, wait a minute. I should pick up the lunch. Pick up lunch at the convenience store first. I forgot to prepare it yesterday. Just grab a bento or something. Um, it's gonna be another bright day at school. Some kids think I'm weird for being excited about school. But another day at school means another day with my friend Sarah and Akira. Like, well, I'd probably hate school too if Sarah had been. Show me how much better friendship means everything. Man, now I'm thinking about when we played Legend of Rai Karkai. The first I thought the characters in the game just look, like, look so cute and have good music. But after a while, what really hooked me was its story. I just had to know what happened next. I cried so much at the ending that Sarah had to go downstairs to get me a box of tissues. Wow, that was embarrassing. So I'm glad I got to share a moment like that with her. What? Ah. While well, I thought, I slammed straight into a random passerby in front of Friend Mart's entrance and toppled to the ground. Ah, uh, oh dear. I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm not okay. I was. You know, let's use this funny. You do really have a save. Multiple save. I'm not okay. Okay, I'm okay. Uh, oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> The hand? Um, well, not really a fan of the whole talking to strangers thing, but it'd be disrespectful to complain someone home, right? I don't want to be even more rude after crashing into this person. I reach out and they pull me back to my feet. Huh? It doesn't look like you're injured. Good thing, huh? Ah, yeah. Were you heading in? I was going to grab this. I was gonna grab a soda myself. Oh, uh. Oh, uh. Oh no, they're trying to start the conversation. <laughs> this might be a bit best way to out of context. <laughs> I'm just gonna screech it a little bit. Alright. Okay. How many save we can do? Wow, oh, that's still so many. Uh, I think we'll try to exit the conversation, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I mean, yes, but no, goodbye. <laughs> huh? I probably dash into the bread work, as far as I'm concerned. The conversation's over. I don't have time for this, I need to get to class. I really distress in my life. Okay, Grace. Read, read. Just gonna grab, gonna grab lunch and get out. Oh, oh no, they're here. End up hiding behind the nearby magazine display. What am I even doing? This should take. Should I take a peek? Why they see me? It's going to be to get really awkward and especially awkward. 
I don't know if I can take this anymore. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> it's like super advanced techniques that Sarah wants on me in hide and seek. I assume the priest will <laughs> kill me to eat the position. Uh, wait. When you go down on my knees, face plant the high ground, I cover my head with my hands. From the sound of it, that person found what they were, they were looking for and decided to the cashier. Hey there! Bro, how's it been? It's been good, nothing much. So how, so like, how's work? Hey, you should probably know. Getting up the corn. Selling Genghis subscription gift cards. Pretty typical stuff. Although I will say, the air conditioning here is pretty sublime. You could say that again. I bet I'll make it will make the summer for you a lot more charm for the night. You getting a job this summer? Yeah, I'm going to be a waiter, a brand new mom, a mom and pot at a brand new mom and pop restaurant. It's outdoors? Yeah, a good amount of the seating. Seating others. Probably make it a popular venue in the venue in the night. Hey bet. Anyways, we got something to grab here. Nope, just the soda, the soda here. All right, all right. That'll be one hundred cents, please. Here you go. Peace out. Take care of yourself. You too, Reggie. Bye. Reggie. That's their name. As in like. The VG game character, Reiki. That's kinda cool. Cool? Here, yeah, this person is still up real. I don't wanna bother them though. And the coast is clear, I catch up for a lunch in peace. Hmm, a bend of box with chicken, chicken burst salmon, and some sweet fruits. Perfect. Just like the box and head towards the counter. Getting a little bit more. Getting a little more relaxed. I guess she takes the box and scans it. That'll be 590 cents. I want to look at the sir, with my hand, with my face where is in my hands. Why? Why did I do all that? Look at me acting the, like the world is some stupid stealth action game. What was even the point? I am I saw. I'm, I am my son monks, not me for class too. I promised myself and Sarah I'd be stronger, and after all that, I can't even buy lunch. Okay, okay, deep breaths, Grace. This is just one time, Grace. You're not always like this. How could you have really screwed this one, Grace? This one, this one. I don't think I will say most of the time. Wait, yeah, yeah. Come on, Grace. As you said, it's some kind of still, still game. You surely gain XP for this, <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Oh, that's Sarah. I'm sorry for being, for being a weak mess like this. I've been thinking about Sarah lately, a lot. I I think I like her, but I'm not too sure how how to really tell her that. You think I have done it by now, but there's just a lot of things in the way of that, I guess. I really don't know if she'd say yes. I'm such a mess and can go on with me. Come. Can go one encounter with a stranger without melting and becoming a total loser. Instead of being night, I'm just like this. Wouldn't Sarah want someone who'd be stronger than that? And even if some miracle happened, what if she did say yes? Would her family ex even accept her being gay? <laughs> Except me? 
Of course, of course, think about it, they will accept it. After dropping by their house over years, would they feel betrayed if they knew? Uh, oh, Calp, do you have any answers? Uh, they just gonna still keep grinning. My mother as I pull, pull Kelp out of my bag. There it is. Kelp gives the same blank green as always. Triple dots. I guess I've been meaning to tell her about how I feel anyway. I can't keep this bot feeling bottled up forever. What if I do it before the end of the school year? That's like... I've got a little over a week. How does that sound, Kelp? Kelp's same old green gives a mildly comforting answer. Comforting answer. Hmm? Okay. You're feeling a bit stressed today, so this can be the day. It's okay, Grace. We can do it. Do it. There. I go talking to myself again. There I go. Talking to myself again. Well, it's a feeling sometimes. Most of them. Triple dots. Wait, what time is it? 8.50 a.m.? Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to be late. Oh, uh... <laughs> oh, uh... Grace. And time for Sarah. So, as far as I know, I know this is a mechanic of the other game as well, or the official. Another day down until graduation. There's a common misconception that the final year of middle school tests would be the easiest. Those people probably weren't taking very hard electives. Every single day continues to be exhausting. With a mountain of homework leading up to the finals. But soon that that will be that will all be out of the way. I'm already making plans for the break. My pickup and their Valentine's Day does not well the other day. But of course, I haven't, I haven't read it just yet, so I'm looking forward to that. Don't judge it. Don't judge just because it's around us all public. Her works are bestsellers for a reason. I'll be able to piano practice till 4 each day. 2. Maybe I can get back into competitions with this. As long as it's not a demo pro prologue novel. <laughs> I've been working a bit on writing music too. And I'll finally have more time for that. It's looking like a productive break. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Grace has been really excited about some new indie games too. I'm really looking forward to checking them out today. That's definitely the part I'm anticipating the most. Honest. But maybe I'm getting a little too far. I know myself. Right now. Right now I'm in the present and I'm in a few more weeks. I'll be graduating junior high. I don't think there will there'll be a, a lot of I'm going to miss at this point. It's just the same routine, same kids. Yet somehow something feels off. Ah, my phone is buzzing. One new message on the... Oh, it's here. Hey, Sarah. Doing anything after school today? Hmm? Not exactly. Okay, great. Question mark? Do we make plans? I don't think I'd forget. And what is it? What is it? Hmm. You could have just you could just tell me right now, especially if it's something important. It's unlike him to be honest. He tends to be a very upfront kind of person and always likes asking for thoughts on things. It's fun to plan things out with him. He's been a huge help as the vice president of the music club. I hate to admit it, but it'd be hard for me to run such a large club on. He's the first friend we made in middle school, and he's been an inseparable part of our 
Obviously, that's me, Grace, and Akira. Speaking of Grace, I wonder if... <clears throat> excuse, excuse the interruption. Huh? A very fake joy clearing sound accompanied by a light tap on the back. I regret instinctively turning around. Oh, you're, um, Inamori. That's your last name. I gotta keep forgetting her first. On paper, she's a model student and president of a new speaker club. But she abuses her position to dig up info for her shady, cheer up account rumor for her. As the name implies, it's filled with nasty rumors about the students in high school and it's disgustingly popular. And that little notebook she carries is said to be filled with everyone's secrets. I'm sure she can't be up to anything good. Hi there, Sarah. It's Yoko, by the way. Anyways, where are we at? Well, I've been meaning to talk to you again. That airheaded vibe, it's a facade she puts on to make people lower their guard. And I'm having none of it. Where are you now? Of course, after all. You promised me you'd let me interview you. Interview you. Alright. There's a lot of save here. This looks like a freaking red beat, to be honest. A little bit on the part, but not really. This is also Unity, so with Life 2D. You did? I can't recall. Of course, that's a bluff. She nagged me about it when our music club and our performance were the senior festival a couple weeks back. I might have actually given up and said yes at some point. Oops. Sarah, how foolish. A true reporter will never, and I mean never, forget. Exactly, 20.33 a.m. The morning, on 5.52, you said the following. Enough already, I'll do your damn interview later. Just let me finish my reading in peace. <laughs> that girl. You're just looking for gossip or relax in the stupid bird up, aren't you? Try writing some, pro some proper articles about school events or something before the student council closes your down your club. But this is about an event. After all, we're talking about the big star at the music club, my but senior festival. Our graduating class, very, very on most likely to become an idol. Look, Sarah, I was talking about your club's performance, and it's just a scoop I need. Surely people need to know what going on in your heads after such a massive show. Uh, so, what do you say? Oh, well, she's not letting me out though. Might as well just end this as soon as I can. Okay, fine. Let's just get this out of the way. Ask me whatever. Well, first, we gotta ask the question of the art. Vicky leaps towards my ear and begins whispering. Are you dating Akira? Uh, er... He's just a friend. You know... You know, sadly, any of this is still gonna mis misinterpret, I feel, anyways. He's just a friend. Oh, very interesting. So, being friends means you're not interested in it that way, correct? I... I'm eternally cursing at my carelessness. Because no matter what, I can't say no to I can't say no to that. Anyways, next question. Oh god. Echo starts straightening her tie. Exceeding confidence. She looks serious, she's going to strike me dead with this next one. 
What's the best thing about working with your bandmates? It's that every day you see a club so organized and strongly tight knit after all. Hmm, that's it? Well, it's really just down to diligent practice and maintaining a consistent schedule that works around my school life, school lives as well. Yes, very good. She knows herself while writing some quick notes in her book. But it's like working with them. Starting with Grace. Hmm. I just really like working with them, of course. Being around Grace, that's not a secret. People think she's clumsy and anxious, and well, maybe. But she faces her shortcomings and all. She's probably the most honest, hardworking person I know. And I see how much her heart, how much heart she puts into everything. I feel like I can try my best, too. Anyway, she's and she's really pretty. I can picture her right now and just go, this is the perfect look, a per. I'm not asking about the girl. Why that lovesick look of your face? What? Wait, did I look weird while thinking about Grace? Damn, I need to get it together. Or I see you about Grace, and you're just really over here. Oh, this is the ultimate scoop, and it's right on my fingertips. All I have to do is just say it. I'm not thinking about him. Okay. There's a long pause and then she smiles at me. So, who are you thinking about? I? Shock? No, I can't let myself get stuck into her piece. Get a seagull. I was just thinking about the obvious kind of question. I like to represent her clubs and its members in a positive and accurate way. So my answer is the following. I think Grace is a wonderful friend to work with. It's like the backbone of our club and without her, there wouldn't be that performance yesterday. Anyway, I appreciate your interest in interviewing me about the club. I don't appreciate it, and didn't appreciate it by the way. I need to get to the class now. Bye. If you have any additional questions, take it up with our close supervisor. Thanks. Hmm, fine, for now. Don't think you can get away from me, Sarah. So try to walk away. You'll go sleep straight in front of me. Again. Just when I thought we were done here. Yes, right away. They say that those who kiss under the tree are destined to be together forever. Uh, yeah, I've heard about that. No, in the courtyard. What about it? Oh, uh, nothing. Thought you should be both now. You know. I'm not listening. You totally are. Yanko treads up happily. I guess she's content with all of that. Stay here towards the glass. I check my phone and search for any new notifications. You know, it's pretty weird that I haven't seen any messages from Grace yet. Is she doing okay? I mean, she's prob she probably is. She's crazy, after all. home. I'll see her in class. Maybe I'll talk to her about that thing, but... I've been really uncomfortable about it for some reason. Maybe it'd be best to give it a bit more thought before, before I ask her about it. What am I thinking? I'm just trying to make plans for the summer with my best friend. Just like we've done every year. Year, same as always. Uh, yeah, same as always. Even if I... Oh? Two messages from Grace. Sarah! I'm so sorry, I'm gonna be late for class. It won't be that late. Relax. Some of the teacher doesn't really start till 10 minutes in. But Sarah, I don't want to 
Walk out of the school. This is what I do. We won't graduate together. Uh, key smash? Eh, that dork. I put away my phone with a renewed feeling that things are going to be okay. Alright, I think back to Grace again. Oh. Oh. I'll just see in case. You know, it'd be easier on all of us if we come in a little before the last minute. Well, well, well what? That's is starting. Sit down. Oh. Uh, sorry, madam. Everyone started staring at me. It's embarrassing. I look across the room for Sarah, who quietly nods a greeting. I flopped down in my assigned seat, wishing it wasn't so far away. The teacher starts taking attendance and proceeds, proceeds to start her lecture. Looks like I made it in time, just barely. barely. <coughs> ah, it's still geometry. I was afraid the worst thing onto my character. That is already hard enough, but somehow shapes just make it so much more confusing. Every problem now, and every problem now takes like 20 more steps to if you extend the size of this quadrilateral, you see that it forms two similar triangles. Now you can apply the laws of sign. Oh, science too. Who would ever think to do such a thing? I did apply for honors mat. I glance over toward Sarah and end up meeting her eyes. She gives me a small wave and my heart beats a little bit faster. I think I remember why I applied for honors mat. Wow. Rumor, rumor corners, but I got it again. Apparently something really juicy is going to get a job before graduation. And put away your phones, the lobby. Class is getting restless over something, so busy working on this problem too care. Let me suffer in peace and quiet. Six dots. Teacher gives us an additional time. So the problem, but it seems like the class is already the top about pretty much anything else. Sounds like rumor girls finally done it this time. I think that uh, that ice cream Sarah is actually in love with Zelda. Oh, she's good looking and the music clothes hit poor kid guys. It was about to help me. I think they're already dating? Probably. Rumor girl said she knows exactly what it is. Then she caught them in the eye, huh? It's always a curious thing. Disappointed him VP two years in a row. Bet she just wanted to make a move on. Damn, I'm so jealous. Wish I could date back here. <laughs> uh, wait. What? Uh, what? Huh? Uh. Huh? Sure, I like someone. Ooh. Why? What did she have told me about this? It doesn't feel. It does feel like there's a bit more distance between us lately. It used to be like we'd do everything together, we'd talk about anything together. It was the most natural thing in the world. And now, sometimes, it seems like it's easier to, for her to talk to so Kira than me. What if it's because... Man, rumor girl sure is a fire lately. Remember when she found out that you and Gigi were dating? That was a real shocker, and it turned out to be true. She really does her research. How did she even know? Oh no. It kind of it's I don't believe in rumors. No 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 no. 
Well, a lot of dots. Okay, deep reds. We gotta trust in Zara, right? Where we go strong this time? I'm gonna ask and we'll have a laugh about this silly thing. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> What's up? It's a random, kind of, but is there anyone you like? Oh. Is this because Yoko posted that thing? I guess, but also... Like, we don't really talk. You don't really girl talk much much lately. I wanna know about my best friend. Be really stupid I, as soon as I hit send. Maybe they bring our friendship into this. If she wanted to talk about this stuff, she would already. I don't just want to know if this if I was a braver person, I guess. It's embarrassing. We'll talk later. What? What? Isn't she saying that like it's true? When did that happen? I keep telling myself not to expect anything, but I still feel like my heart's being crushed. It's my fault, of course. I never had the guts to say anything about how I feel. Why would anything? Why would anything different happen? I didn't want her to think I was weird. I didn't want to mess up our friendship. I just got comfortable with how everything was, then I told myself it, it'd be okay. Maybe it was just like this forever. What do I do now? I can solve this problem. How about you, Grace? Ah, I just don't know. You don't have to be so dramatic about it, though. So, I need to get it together. I said we're we'll talking about it later, so it won't do me any good to keep thinking about it now. Let's just try to stay focused and get through the day. You know, it'd be easier on, on all of us. We can't win another one. Okay, it's the same dialogue. Grace dejectedly sinks into the chair, chair, looking like she wishes she was invisible. Well, she did cause a bit of a commotion barging into the glass like that, but once I quickly turn back, I throw in either the teacher or their hands of the hidden bones. Miss, though, is still thinking about how to talk. About summer plans. We plan out there every summer, almost as long as I can remember. It should be simple, yet I'm turning right in my head. Man. It just feels everything just so much more difficult than me. As a kid, I'd always figure no matter how much stuff change. Our friendship would always be that one thing that would stay, stay the same. I thought even when I find my friends someday, my best friend will always be precious to me. But as I get older, as I learn what Zara feels like, the person I always imagine myself with is the one person it should have been then. We always used to share all our secrets. If I told you now, the way I feel about you, things I want from you, what would you think? Grace turns toward me, turns toward me and we make eye contact. And I realize I've been staring at her the entire time. Holy crap. Now I want to be invisible too. I match the way back at her while screaming internally and she turns back to her work. Grace is over dead, maybe? Alright, there's some work shit. What's wrong with me today? Maybe that running with yoga got me in a weird headspace. 
At least math is pretty much the easiest class. Because you only need to know a few basic pieces of your book at a time. You just figure out the rest from there, and pretty much every question gets answered three times in a row. Just slightly different arrangement. So this video is asking an advice system. Instruction. We'll play dots. Damn it. And then I ran out of questions to work on. Just then I see a notification on my phone. Okay, I don't need to read this. Oh it's Grace. Oh it's Grace. Let's just play it. Cool. That thing earlier, definitely in the parliament. Okay, I'm not gonna read this again. Eh? If I was drinking something, I had to sit it down. There's no way she knows, right? Wait. It's probably because Yoko posted something after that silly interview. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. I already read it. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna skim a little bit. Ah, I really made her worry, I like. I need to, uh. Wait, you just, I just tell her, of all people, Grace would probably understand. I type I like you and stare at it in text box and send for what feels like an, an Ian. And that everyone do feel. So just think I'm being silly because, yes, of course, I like my friends, right? And that's why I can send this. It's absolutely not because my heart feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. I switch to I look. Hmm. I should tell her something that's important to her face. That's right. It's embarrassing. We'll talk later. And oh man. I just committed to talking about it, didn't I? I was trying to figure out how to ask about this summary. And this is a bajillion times harder. Okay, what am I going to say? Am I getting a response? Should I say I was just kidding or something? Ah, I just don't know. Hey, boys, that sounds about the reality. I gotta keep it together. I think she's stuck or something. Review things later, maybe that's a good chance. Well, let's see what happens. That's right, we got to focus so I can get set to the sample. Play dots. Fortunately, paying attention in class helps me keep mind of things. The rest of the morning passes uneventfully. See, Shwan? Race makes a beeline for my desk. Such where it starts. No, she's wearing the uh, typically downcast expression. Uh, Sarah's, Sarah's server put in this part earlier. People were talking about stuff and I got curious, I guess. I guess. Yeah, if you don't want to talk about something now, it's okay. Uh, I'll be there for you whenever, so it's okay. Great, you're the best, you know that? There's no way I'd be mad at you. Yeah, could just blowing things out of proportion. I don't know if anything's really gonna happen. Well, if you're worried, I don't think anyone with any sense would turn you down. Uh, if you tell me that I'm going to get overcome with it, if I get my heart broken, it's going to be your fault, okay? Uh, I... Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm always happy to hear you say stuff like that. I'm just teasing. Oh, yeah, I know that. I've just got some stuff on my mind, I guess. Well, if you need me, you know I'm always here for you, too. Anyway, I'm starving. Let's round up the usual suspects. That makes it sound like we're getting more... Than one person. <laughs> I wander over to a girl's classroom where he's being mobbed by even more girls than usual. So, like, is it true? 
the stuff that was posted in our American here. Yeah, he'll tell us all, all about it, right? Don't leave your hang bank cloud hanging. Uh, I don't know why he why here. I didn't ask for it. He catches the side of us and perks up. I'm sorry everybody, I gotta go eat lunch with my friends. Bye. Guys, please help me. <laughs> hey, that's Sarah over there. Hold up, we got questions for you too. Everybody make a break for it. We'll meet up at the We'll meet up at the usual spot. We split up and dash away from the ground. Eventually make our way to the rooftop. All breathing heavy. See? This is why fame sucks. I love to just live life without being perceived. Our club would have, would have been in an opposite spot if one of our biggest stars was invisible, you know. Well, I'm definitely with him on this one, though. You especially don't get to be invisible. I'm not having it. Because someday when we start our idol group, we we're gonna need your effortless charm to rag up the fans. Not my grouchy face. I don't think I've got any such thing, but I'll do my best. Should give yourself more credit, you know. Every time you put your mind to something, you do great at it. When we all join the club, sure. Your voice was a little rough. But you improved way faster than anyone else. I just worked really hard. Anyone anyone else could do the same thing too. But thanks. Putting it in effort is more important though. Most people just let their potential go to peace. When we make it to the top, it's going to be because we went hard enough to deserve it. Well, I'll be sure to be your number one fan when we do. When you do, I'll just be ru be running a whole wall restaurant somewhere, probably. You can't just say that without showing everyone your lunch. Come on, look it out. Man, I bet nobody heard that out of context. I stick my tongue out a bit. As the three, three of us take out our lunch. Here that it really does look like a restaurant island. Pork belly, hamburger steak, and elegant little desert pastries. That's why too much meat, dude. Don't come crying to me when you have our problems in like 10 years. Oh yeah? You're gonna turn into a skeleton if you keep eating like that. Why not just a simple salad with type tuna dressing with a side of carrots and grapes? It's good stuff and easy to reverse. Oh, that guy is totally wrong about it, okay? So, Grace, what do you have on you? Hmm, it looks like it's gonna be Mr. Benda. Guess I slowed her down a bit this morning. I didn't have much time to pick, up, pick something out, but. Oh, it's somewhat more generic, but it actually looks kind, kind of similar to mine. Hey. It is also salad with fruits. Here we are, not all. Didn't take the hat. Hmm, that means it, it's got chicken. I'm surprised you didn't, you know, indulge your sweet tooth more. That's commendable. Huh? I was just in too much order, to be honest. If you'd like, you can have one of these. It makes us one of the, his dessert pastries in your lunchbox. Hey, don't encourage this kind of thing. It does look good though. <laughs> You're always welcome to one too. I help pass. Shut up and all too soon. Watch boxes are totally empty. So here. What did you want to have to do after school today? Oh again oh you guys <laughs> so No great so <laughs> yeah, nothing big. I thought the president baby. 
speed of the music. Probably since we're all done with it. Um, hmm, that's not a bad idea. Grace, if you want to. I just remember I've got stuff to do at home today anyway, so uh, we can hang out another time. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, it's just us then, Akira. Right. Right then, I had something to ask you about. Actually, set up for us. I mean, I'm right here, so go ahead. It's um, a bit of a... Sorry, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Before I could think, before I could ask myself what I was doing, my feet carried me quickly down the stairs, away from them. I might feel spoggy and full of noise. I will just go away. Kind of dark title drop. Ah, oh, help. Why do I have to be like this? Is it cowardice? Am I just so afraid to see her pulled away from me? Or did I want to give them space? The important thing is that Sarah is happy, isn't it? Hearing that made plans without me. I felt like things clicked together. <laughs> Kira wanted to ask her something and he didn't seem comfortable with me around, right? And the rumor from this morning. I feel like I should be supportive, but I also want to be selfish. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Other than the corner stairwell with a stuffed animal. Oh, here comes a rather unwelcome presence. Well, let's just sleep a little bit. Oh, sadly, but it's both yellow again. Uh, what do you want? Why is it yoga? I'm not really in the mood to talk anyone, to anyone right now. Well, I'm hoping to put the finishing touch on my big scoop. And you look like you could help. Eh, I can't imagine I'm any help to anybody like this. Eh, don't say that. You definitely got the last piece I need. So, aren't you curious about it? Yourself? About what? Who Zero likes? You probably just made it out of you. I'm hurt that you think so poorly of my journalistic technique, really. You know I do my research, which is also poorly. <laughs> so are you saying you actually know? Let's say I'm about 99.9% .9 sure. But, if, but you won't believe me if I just tell you, will you? Look, what's your angle here? If you won't get it, Get to the point, just leave me alone. It's simple enough. I'm going to show you something interesting. You're incontro incontrovertible. Incontrovertible proof. Yes, when you see it, it'll show me something interesting too. Basically, I'll need you, I need you for a special scoop. Maybe it's all reverse? Nah. I'm not sure. <laughs> What exactly are you asking me to do? Just find me after school. And go to the place I tell you. Easy, right? I'm pretty sure I'm being set up for something. You know what? I don't really have anything to lose. I'll just play along and see what happens. After Gary ran out of the bathroom, there wasn't enough time to ask her about the summer. I guess I'll text her or something tonight. I'm supposed to clean up the club room after school after all. The rest of the school day passes pretty normally. I'm diligently taking notes in preparation for finals. After the last bell, I head over to Grace at her desk. Hey. So it looks like we're... we're so it looks like we're all busy today. We gotta find it, but we're gonna find time to hang out soon, okay? Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, I think we can go over those geometry problems soon. Of course, sure. We get in no time. There's this kind of a trick to it. Just don't get mad if it takes a while. 
Anyway, I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you later then. Yep, I'll message you. I'm going to the old cover. Kira's there, waiting for me, and as planned, we start putting everything away. This place really bring back some, brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? You're telling me it's weird to think that we'll never have a club meet again. Well, pretty soon we won't even come back to this school. Except for reunions, I guess. Do people even do middle school reunions? I don't think they do, actually. And that was kinda sad. There's not that many people I'll miss, but... Yeah. We carry all the music stands to the storage room and start all the sheet sick for the next year for next year's club. Leaving things behind for future generations, huh? Don't say that stuff makes us don't say stuff that makes us sound old. We're not even in high school yet. <laughs> well, I think that's everything. Actually it was a pretty quick job, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess it was. Well, suppose we'll return the keys and call it a day. Ah, oh, wait a second. You mind coming with me for a bit? Sure, why not? I fell behind him, but where we where we headed is the courtyard. I guess it seems unusually nervous, and that makes me feel kind of nervous too. After a long pause, he finally says. I keep not finding the right time to tell you this, but through this, after we graduate, my parents are moving to another city for work. When I think about moving away, I always wish the three of us could go to high school together. I keep thinking about the times we've spent together, and I wish I could still be there with me. And it made me realize that you've become really special to me. If maybe you feel you feel the same way, I thought it'd be really nice if that could last forever. Oh, we're standing by that tree, aren't we? So it really is something like that, huh? Seeing him put his feelings out there like that, it's extremely cool of them, actually. On the other hand, look at me running away from my own heart. I know that if I want to answer him properly, I need to do better. Agira, I'm sorry, but it's already someone else I like. I can barely manage more than a whisper, but the tiny force of my words seems to hit him a thousand times as hard. Kira takes a deep breath, faces me with a small and resigned smile. Well, I've been watching you all this time. After all, so to be honest, I thought that might be how it is. So it seemed like a long shot. I really hope. Well, you know. Akira. Look, I'm not like mad or anything. Nobody gets to choose how they feel, but. You better tell them, okay? If you keep it to yourself, I'm actually gonna be mad. Them, huh? Hey, you know, I'm not going to make assumptions. Go ahead, I won't stop you. In that case, go get her, alright. Heh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Come with new generation, I rush back to to the school building only to find Looking for Grace, are we? What are you doing here? Ready for my school, of course. Anyway, she ran off just after seeing you guys, so I'm sure she's not very far yet. For seeing you know what? Never mind. I already reached into my bag and pulled out my phone to, phone to call her. 
Thankfully, she actually picks up. Sarah, Sarah I'm sorry I was. Ray, sorry been what about it. Still near Barry. Come back, it's important. I need you. You do? Alright, uh, I'll see you in a bit then. Buy my phone and turn back to the other. Surely you're not planning to stick around and watch, are you? Oh, I've seen quite enough. I relax. I think I'll keep this scope for myself to myself for now. I just make it sound like you've got some really nefarious plan up to up up your sleeve. <laughs> I just think that you should you'll show something more interesting. Don't the line, you know. Let's call it an investment. <laughs> anyway, I'll make sure nobody's here when she arri she arrives. So Take your time. <laughs> huh. I didn't think I'd say this to you, but thanks, I guess. With that, you have to trust gleefully into the new on the corner. Hey there. You, sad boy. Can you spare a few minutes to talk about your misfortune? <laughs> huh? You? Leave me alone. It'll be great, I promise. Less than 10 questions. Well, that's one way to clear the premises, I guess. I'll tell you that. Hey, everyone's gone. The courtyard is going so quiet. Just me and all the thoughts buzzing through my mind. I've already chosen to follow my heart, haven't I? You mean, like my way? <laughs> I know that I'd be lucky to end up someone. Like a cure. All those trails geese chase him because he's good looking, but I know he's also such a kind of an animal person. I'm sure I'd been happy, really. But maybe it's just a silly romantic notion that I already given my whole heart away. So even if it's greedy of me, no matter what ends up happening, I want to try and tell her. Huh? 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 Hey Sarah, I was running out, and then you called, and and I ran back, so... I woke up to Grace, and I pulled her into a hug. She stayed with some hope for a moment, and I feel her arms around my back, too. Ah, Grace, I feel soft and warm beneath my hands. I said over here is so familiar, but somehow, it still makes my heart race. I don't even, I don't ever want to let you. Uh, are you okay? Uh, what happened to Akira? What happened with Akira? I, uh, turned him down. What? Why? All this time, I've been running away from you. I've been running away from you, there you go. From me? I used to think. As long as we're friends, no matter what else happens, that's all the happiness I'll ever need. I thought even if the whole world changes around us, a friendship is the one thing that will always be the same. And I always thought that was a good thing, but... Maybe when I think about you, I start to want things I've never ever wanted before. The future that I've hoped for doesn't look like the same happiness we've always had anymore. I've been trying to hide from it like a cow, but I can't go back. I can't keep pretending. Things haven't changed. So even though I'm terrified of what might happen, I have to face it. I have to tell you. Grace. I don't want to just be friends anymore. Sarah. Let's say you're being a coward. You know exactly how scary it is. I thought if I told you how I feel, I'd be friendship also. So I've been running away too. I also wanted us to be more than friends. I go back a bit and look at her face. 
Raise blushes and bites your lip. And her eyes with away. Grace, I love you. I, I love you too. Uh, she stabs herself in the face. Instinctively, my hand is there a moment later. What are you doing? Stop that. Uh, sorry, I'm not allowed to change that go kind of like this, so... You're not allowed to just say something that good and get away with it. Oh, what should I... As I pull her closer, her voice, voice trails off, and as she closes her eye, I do the same. Our lips met for, meet for the first time. Wish with all my heart for this happiness to last forever. Oh, okay. we're still playing a rhythm game. Does it matter? Isn't <laughs> that? Uh, here we go. First summer we spent as lovers, passed by like a beautiful dream. And almost too soon, it was time to start our new high school lives. Clubs are already recruit out, already out, recruiting in full force. But wow. All the sands are so colorful. Stay focus. We already know where where we're going after all. The reason we came to this school. The first step toward our dream. Alright. You should be in this classroom. The school idol club. Absolutely amazing. However, we are not done yet, but I will save that for another recording. Is it done? Just white screen. Please don't tell me it's something. Okay, it's done. So, we have fear. You can play the rhythm again if you want to. Could try to all perfect it, but I'm gonna show my hands here. For now, there's another one. I'll see you next. So I'll save that for another time. So that'll be no that will be the finale. Next time we'll check about Hakuno and Sumire. So we check in Grace and Sarah. That's the next time. Unfortunately, as I said before again, we cannot play this game. Not because it's not free and thing. Well, it's free to download the game, that's for sure. The problem is... I just wish there's some easier way to like VIP. I want to approach some rhythm games to find me things. You can still play the game, that's a thing. It's just not for me when... Yeah, I think coins... I'm not sure if there's a way to just unlock a permanent song, but even then anyway... 
I still wonder if we can still play the whole story. That's all I wanted to play the game. It's just if the story is just going to be like part with uh, monetization, then there's nothing I can do. Well, that's for seconds of starlight. Maybe I'll try the credits full combo at least. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for the part two where we check the other one. Anyway, and probably we'll try to full combo both of the credits. That's all for now. Thank you for watching again. See you next time. Stay toasty. Bye.